headlines at all the major comedy clubs in the country. He's got over 40 television guest appearances, including Johnny Carson and Arsenio Hall, recently starred in a pair of Jokers. For Showtime, welcome, please, George Lopez. Primero que decir que me da mucho... Thank you. First, I'd like to say that... Uh... All right. Spanish television could not be the loudest... It has to be the loudest channel. You watch NBC, you hear... Ding, ding, ding. You watch Telemundo. Estás escuchando Telemundo. That's why you ever see Mexicans in the front yard. It's too loud in the house, man. <laughs> My grandma's like, Mijo, turn the television down. See, I don't know where the pliers are. <laughs> Man. Oh, that's right. I use the oven. <laughs> Not a lot of Mexicans on television. It's frightening when you think that cowboys do salsa commercials. That's frightening to me, man. It, and you've seen the cowboys do the commercials. Hey, Cookie, what kind of salsa is that? <laughs> well, it's peace, and it's made in San Antonio, and it's got bunches of grasses in it. <laughs> To me, that would be like if you saw no women in feminine hygiene product commercials. Who would be the Mass and Girl spokesperson? Hi, I'm Cliff from IHOP. <laughs> you ever feel not so fresh? Well, then try the Rudy Tooty Fresh and Fruity. I'm telling you, man, movies that come out that involve Latinos have subtitles. It's two words. My family. Mi familia. Oh. <laughs> They don't do that to other movies. You don't see Waterworld, Mundo de Agua, you know, Forrest Gump, El Pendejo. They don't have that. There you go. You'll learn that word in your senior year. All right? You know, they name cars after our cultures. They have the uh, Festiva, which is Spanish for cheap car. <laughs> I saw a Festiva that had a club on the steering wheel. And the club was hanging out of both sides of the window. <laughs> People break in and take the club. They have an alarm. Shh, I know the code. <laughs> you know, I think culturally there are differences between, you know, Mexican-American people and Caucasian people. I think, you know, Caucasian people have advantages that Mexicans don't have. You guys can use words that we can't use, like gang. You know, you guys can say, tomorrow afternoon we're having a party and the whole gang's coming over. <laughs> you know, we can't do that. <laughs> you guys can get excited and say, woo, last night we went out and painted the town. <laughs> I can't even buy paint. You see? <laughs> I went to buy paint and the guy looked at me. You know, I think the way we respond to tragedy, you know, we live in Los Angeles, you live in major cities, you hear gunfire, you know, Mexican people, we go on with our day. We've heard gunfire before. We go on with our day, we go on a little bit lower, but we go on. <laughs> you hear, <laughs> come on, Miko, let's go, you're still going to school. <laughs> no, okay, you're going to school, grab a banana, let's go. You know, white people hear gunfire, they run to the window, <laughs> what on God's green earth? For the love of Christmas, what's going on out here? <laughs> Come on, Miko, jump over the body. Let's go. You know, I just find it interesting that, you know, people every year spend a billion dollars on tanning products. You know, I never lay out in the sun. You know, why would I want to be darker? Yeah, well, I want to get stopped by the police for no apparent reason. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I actually got beaten by the police in 1978, and it was all recorded, but on beta. So, you know, <laughs> there wasn't a lot I could do with the tape, you know. But I wanted to be a cop when I was a little kid. I was like eight, and then I dressed up for a cop in the, for Halloween one year. In my neighborhood, I got no candy that year. <laughs> Nobody would open the door. I'd be knocking on the door. <laughs> it's the cops! Put that... That's a little cop. Where? 
<laughs> Wait a minute, it's a cop and a princess. What the hell is... You know, I just think cops are different. When you watch television, that Just For Men hair curl commercial kills me. You know where the guy pulls the other guy over and goes, Hey, this isn't you. This is a younger man. Well, thank you, I've been using Just For Men. And in five minutes, it washes out my gray. Yeah, I'm sure that's happened to us many times. We've been pulled over by the police and he's looking at our ID. Hey, this isn't you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and in five minutes, you're gonna find out it's not my car either. <laughs> yeah, my people. <laughs> I just think more cops need to learn other languages other than just English because we've seen too many cases where the nightstick has been used as a linguistic tool. It's too easy. You know, you don't speak the language, you use the nightstick. Get out of the car, but you know what I'm saying? Get out of the car, but you know what I'm Oh, you want me to get out of the car? All right, dude, I got to hang on. I don't think you hit Irish people. They go, oh, Danny boy, the pie. <laughs> you know, the police are using uh, pepper spray. You know, salsa is the number one condiment in the United States. And the police are using, instead of mace, pepper spray. Now, what's that supposed to do to us? Make us hungry? What is that? <laughs> that doesn't work on us. You see the cops freeze. <sighs> Man, what's that? <laughs> freeze. That's delicious. I'm going to get some chips. I don't know what that is. What are the cops gonna get? It's ground pepper and the long grinders. Everyone down! You know, Mexican people, it's a strong culture. It's not a theme. You know, Cinco de Mayo is an important holiday to us. It's to you guys, it's the day the chips are half price. <laughs> to us, it's important. You go to a restaurant and they dress Caucasian people up as Mexicans. You ever see them? They come up and say, Hi, I'm Brian. I mean, L. Brian. Oh, man. When you go to the Red Lobster, is your waiter dressed up like a starfish? I don't think he is. Yeah, I'll be your waiter. Oh, thank you, man, but the crab already helped. You know, it stems from every place. I mean, Mexican food is delicious. It's the worst for you. I mean, it's high in cholesterol, you know, and uh, Mexican people, you know, we gain all our weight in our waist. We got like a big waist and skinny legs, which is a good look. <laughs> you know, little kids are calling you, hey, Kool-Aid! <laughs> yeah, go to the mall and try to find some jeans, 5220. Good luck. <laughs> it's all the place. I mean, I think we need to get on television. I think, you know, we're not on television. I think we need to be. I think, you know, they send Latino reporters into the most dangerous situations, which I love Latino reporters in. They always speak perfect English until they say their names. <laughs> then they go out. You know, pride is one thing, flamenco is another. You know, that's it from here, reporting live. I'm Cristina Gonzalez. <laughs> you know, when a pig was nominated for an Academy Award, I thought, hey, what chance do I have in Hollywood? When you start nominating pork, the other white meat, what chance do I have? If I had been in that movie, that pig would have been carnitas in 20 minutes. <laughs> the director, where's babe? Uh. Oh, you mean the talking pig? Yeah, man, he told me to tell you goodbye. <laughs> I just think the culture is real popular and, you know, people want to be dark, which I can't find why people tan. You know, most people don't know how to tan. You know, you guys need to turn over. <laughs> you know, most white people end up half red and half white. You guys look like Tylenol, man. Turn over. <laughs> tan legs and white feet. <laughs> hey, Boots, you can't go in the pool with your socks. Oh, sorry, man. People lay out in the sun, but yet they're afraid of people who are dark. You ever seen them cross the street? They go, don't hurt me! Todd, it's me, dude. <laughs> oh my God, Brad, you're like way dark. 
give me back my wallet. I just think it's funny. I mean, I've been followed around in stores by people. You know, I was in a Nordstrom, and the woman says to me, excuse me, senior. <laughs> this line is for credit card holders only. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, donkey. <laughs> I got money, I'm not gonna pay you with an upside down chicken. No, but I'm gonna. Thank you guys very much, I appreciate it.